the coolest reviews, the funnest shit, nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grim's Toy Show Action Inside a Figure Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middlestore. Well, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. What you gonna do, brother, when this Hulk Hogan Defining Moments Mattel figure review runs wild on you, dude? Well, Hulkster, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to WrestlingFigures.com and get one of these for myself. And then I'm gonna review the fuck out of it. It's got his Twitter signature at the top corners of the packaging. It says, Defining Moments. You know, like Defining Moments, like when he won his very first WWF championship. Not that type of defining moments when his kid got drunk, crashed his car, and almost killed a bunch of people. We don't want to talk about ugly incidents such as that, even though there is all kinds of bullshit on the back of the box for you to read. Reading is for prisoners. Pause it there if you're a prisoner. Holy go filter fish. The graphic on the back of the packaging looks like the back of his ripped up t-shirt. I wonder if they made a defining moments figure of his daughter if the back of the packaging would be a stretched out vagina. Your thoughts. If you were to look in the history of wrestling encyclopedia, this prick is on page one. This is, without a doubt, the best Hulk Hogan figure ever. I agree. Times three. Mattel truly nailed the fuck out of this figure, and it's about time Hulk Hogan slapped his name on a quality product. Nailed it. This is his face. He almost looks like the Lorax. Representing a time period when the Hulkster actually had hair, you can see the bald spot is not there. But the top piece almost looks removable, like I can pop it off and make the bitch bald. But, alas, we cannot. What a waste! He comes with his huge, ultra-detailed OAF WWF Championship. You're like, wait, did he just say OAF? Yeah, I said OAF. O-A-F. Old as fuck. This was the championship before it was the Winged Eagle title, which most of you are familiar with. He wears this huge-ass gold cross necklace around his neck, apparently signifying that he's a Christian. This big yellow Hulkamania band-aid is removable from his forehead. And it's actually awesome, because I had Hulkamania band-aids when I was a kid. Nailed it times two. And once you take the title belt off, the plastic piece of shit pops apart! And then there's no latches for you to click it back together! What a waste! Times two. It says Hulkamania on his yellow shirt. It should say plastic bullshit mania But at least you can post a figure in his ring entrance shirt ripping. I rip my shirt similarly when I'm about to bang a bitch. Sometimes a bitch will claw the t-shirt right off your back, leaving it shredded like Swiss cheese. The Hulkster was never really known for his in-ring technical ability. As a matter of fact, the only small package you would ever see was in his yellow trunks. Thanks to steroids. He's got two-tone red knee pads, and here is the big yellow boot, which could bust you to leg drop town for the three-second tan. Well, let me tell you something, Hulkamaniacs! The Hulkster wants you to do three things, brother! I want you to say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and never let your son Nick borrow your car, dude! Fuck you, Hogan! Fuck you, Raisin Balls! Fuck you, Grasshopper Dick! Fuck the Hulk Hogan! Thank you for watching our show, and welcome to Team Nailed It! Don't forget to check out our website, GrimstoyShow.com! Buy all your wrestling figures at WrestlingFigures.com! Use discount code Grim at checkout to save 10%. There's a link in the description. And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Boa, moa, nailed it.